Hi everyone, in this problem we have an infinite sum and the question is to find the values of x for which the series converges and then find the sum of the series for those values of x. So this is actually a geometric series. So recall a geometric series is a series of the form a times r to the n and there's something called the geometric series test that says if the absolute value of r is less than 1, the series converges. And if the absolute value of r is greater than or equal to 1, the series diverges. So in this problem, we first have to take our infinite series and make it fit this form. By the way, um, some people use a slightly different form they'll write something like a r to the n minus 1. It doesn't really make a difference in our test. So these are both to the nth power, so we can start uh, by writing it as a single term to the a single number to the nth power. So we're going from 1 to infinity, and this is x over 3, and this whole thing here is to the nth power. So now we can identify r. So r here is x over 3 and we want this to converge that's what we want see x here is a number it's a real number so we're looking for all of the values of x that's what the question wants so because we want convergence we want this condition here we want the absolute value of r to be less than 1 but what is r it's x over 3 so the absolute value of x over 3 needs to be less than 1 Whenever you have the absolute value of a fraction like this, you can just take the absolute value of each piece. This is really the absolute value of x over the absolute value of 3. But the absolute value of 3 is just 3, so I'm just going to put a 3. And this is less than 1. Let's go ahead and multiply by 3 on both sides. That will give us the absolute value of x. This cancels. So we get less than 3. Whenever you drop an absolute value like this, um, you get a plus and a minus. Here's the reason why. We're saying the absolute value of x is less than 3. The absolute value of x is the distance between x and 0. So we're saying x is a number whose distance from 0 is less than 3. This means that x must be trapped between 3 and negative 3. Right? Those are all the numbers whose distance from 0 is smaller than 3. Those are the numbers that are between negative 3 and 3. Or you can just memorize it. It's just better to memorize it less than less than. That's it. Those are going to be the values of x for which our series converges. And there are no other values, right? Because these two cases are disjoint, right? The opposite or the negation of less than 1 is greater than or equal to 1. So it's going to diverge for all other values. Uh, maybe let's write it in interval notation. So we'll use parentheses because we have strict inequalities. Later on, if you keep studying series, you'll learn that this is called the interval of convergence, by the way. So extra life knowledge. Okay, so that's part of the question. That's, that's just finding um, the values of x. The other part is to find the sum. So the way I do it is I use a special formula, which is super easy to use. So all you do is you take this number and you just plug it in. Always. Just take whatever number is there. It doesn't matter if it's a 1, a 0, a 2, a 17. You plug it in, and you just write that down. x over 3 so to the first power. And then you divide by 1 minus r, always. So you plug in the number, divide by 1 minus r. Plug in the number, divide by 1 minus r. So it's 1 minus x over 3. So this infinite sum is equal to this function uh, whenever x is a number between negative 3 and 3. So we're taking the sum and writing it as, as a function, which is a really interesting concept. Um, this can be simplified, and I think maybe the easiest way is to do something like this. Multiply by 3 over 3. Because now, in the numerator, the 3's cancel, so we get x. And in the denominator, you distribute 3. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times this is just x. So we end up with our series is actually a function, which I'll call f of x, and it's x over 3 minus x. So we've written our series uh, as a function of x, and 
this is true whenever x is between negative 3 and 3. It's a pretty interesting idea, right? So this, this is equal to x over 3 minus x, right? So we've taken a regular function from math and written it as an infinite sum of, of numbers. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.